Hey Saffers, it's been a really long time since I uploaded a YouTube video and I just really wanted to connect and share some stuff with you. And to say that we've been here for two years and seven months and I think that we are at a point or I'm at a point where I just feel like this is home and we feel really settled. And I know that some of you love to watch my YouTube videos because you're trying to find out how to get your driver's license or what to pack, what not to pack. So I'm getting a lot of views on those videos. But you know, this is two and a half years down the line. And I just want to encourage you and share with you that, you know, this is home and we are so chilled, so relaxed, so integrated, have found amazing friends. And really it's that being settledness is really up to you. And what I want to encourage you to do is to be settled is to make connections and you need to actually put yourself out there. If you're not one of those people that likes people or you're not very social or this is the time where you are going to have to step up. And it if you can literally, if you can make your way all the way to Canada, then you can do this. And it's really going to be so important for you, for your husband or your wife. And if you have kids specifically and especially for your children. And so what do those connections look like? So in Canada, uh, it would be connecting with a church or a walking group or a gym. Not that you meet people in the gym uh, per se, but um, you know, meeting the parents um, at the schools where your kids go to and really making an effort. You'll find that here in Canada, the parents don't really make a big effort in trying to connect with the parents, but you're going to have to do that. Also because you want to know where your kids are going to after school, if they go have a play date or whatever. Um, but you know, there's even a park run in Canada. Hello. So that's really, really cool. And um, they seem to be very, very popular at the moment. Get onto the websites and find out. I know there's a park run um, out in Bronte, I think Burlington area. Check it out. See if there's a park run in your area. So that's very, very cool and a great way to connect with people. Also, there are amazing trails and hikes all over. Um, but there are things you can do. Hobbies. I mean, I have seen people, my husband and I, we went walking the other day at um, Erindale Park and we see a uh, radio controlled car coming around the corner. It's a Land Rover and then six more little Land Rovers and all these adult men are driving these little cars on their walk. This is a Saturday morning, 7.30 a.m. or whatever, 8 a.m. This is their hobby. People like, people find stuff to do in Canada. There is everything and anything to do. Even if it's just to get on the go, get to downtown if you're living in the suburbs, go to St. Lawrence Market, just walk along the lake, grab an ice cream, grab a coffee, do something different. Um, the, that's the way you make connections and also really learn to fall in love with Canada. Something that I have learned in my two and a half years so far in Canada is that, and it's actually one of my principles that I'm living by at the moment, is to maximize every single day in the summer. And uh, we've had three summers here now and, you know, when it's winter, it is cold. And sometimes you feel like you don't want to get out. I've mentioned it in my other YouTube videos. Humans follow the path of least resistance. If it's cold, we don't want to go outside. But when summer comes, do the trails. Get to Lions Valley. Get to Arendelle Park. Um, do the walks and the trails. Look, there are apps for it that are so organized. They give you directions they give you costs if there are any and um, what the temp what the temperature is going to be like what the what the weather's like you name it from can kids go can they not go are there ablutions which they usually are and they are super amazing everything is clean and beautiful i don't know i just absolutely love canada so um so that's going to be a great thing for you and then there's paddle boarding so there's a massive lake lake ontario you can do stand-up paddle boarding you can hire boards um, you can do touring of the, the Toronto Islands. There's just so much to do. Get a bicycle. If you can't afford one, get one on Kijiji. Get one on Facebook Marketplace. Get your kids on bicycles. It's safe. Teach them to get onto the roads. Because hello, in South Africa, I know most of the kids don't even get on bicycles anymore because it's not really that safe to be out. You have to always be with them. In Canada, the kids are just free to go. So um, find ways to maximize your summer. The sun only sets at like 9 p.m. here in summer. You can bry till the cows come home. You can drink beer till the cows come home. It's amazing. So maximize and, and do that in summer. Really, really important. So another way to connect would be through all the Facebook groups. 
Um, I'm sure this is how you found me through the uh, South African expats living in Toronto, South African expats in Canada, South African expats in Oakville, in Brantford, you name it. There are loads of groups and the people are super supportive. I mean, it's amazing. You move countries and sapphires just stick together. And so there's a lot of support. We've got an amazing guy in Oakville. He's going to laugh when he sees this video. Alan Barber. He organizes all the pub events, all the brides, all the local picnics. Um, it's just amazing. And it's really important to connect with these people. Be open to it. When we first got to Canada, we were like, oh, we, we just want to be like Canadians. We don't want to necessarily see South Africans because we don't want to talk about the bad times, the burglaries, the, the horrible stuff. But you know what? Um, it's really important to connect with South Africans because you're going to find some really, really good friends that are in the same boat as you and that can help you and give you tips and really help you get connected with more people. So do it. Get out there. I wish I did it sooner. Uh, another group that for you ladies that you should belong to is look into SALT. S-A-L-T. Um, South African ladies in Toronto. Um, their little groups having coffee all over the place. Their little groups of women having wine all over the place. I've met the most amazing friends through these groups and we still connect. We still hang together. And we've become a bit of an entrepreneurial network where we've got photographers, we've got yoga teachers, <coughs> which will be me soon. Um, we've got everybody that's doing, that they're doing different things and we support each other. It's a fantastic group of women. Get onto that group. And so really, um, this is how you can get connected. One of the amazing learning curves for our family, I think, is having our third summer here in Canada, is to really maximize on the summers. Because when winter comes, I'm telling you, it's cold. And then you think back, jeez, I wish I did some more stand-up paddleboarding. I wish I visited my friends at the lake when I thought, oh, I don't want to do the two and a half hour drive. Guys, seriously, it's, it's something that is just on your list that you have to do. When it's summer, the sun only sets at like 9 p.m. at night. Get out there. Do stuff. Walk your dogs. Walk Lions Valley. Walk Arendelle Park. Do the walk. See how beautiful Canada is. Go and figure out stuff. It's absolutely amazing. You need it because it's good for you. It's great to connect with your family. Take your kids. There are parks everywhere. Um, there are water parks. There's Canada's Wonderland. There is just so much to do and so many beautiful things. And, you know, the summer just makes you fall in love with Canada all over again. So my tip is to max out on everything in the summer from early in the morning till late at night. So some of your family is still stuck in South Africa and you now here in Canada. That happened to us. My mom and dad are still in Cape Town. My brother lives in Melbourne. Uh, and they'd never been to Canada before. And I just never thought it would be possible that they would come and get they made the trip. So they've just left. They've been here for six weeks. And you know what? It was the best thing that has ever happened to us since we moved to Canada in terms of just validating us making us feel like you know what we've actually made the right decision and i think when you make the decision to immigrate it's hard when you leave family and loved ones behind because it's tough yes there's skype and there's all that stuff but the reality of it is that it's a very very tough decision i hear you on that but if you can get your family to come and visit you when you settled not like in the first six months but a little bit after that i mean only two and a half years later my parents have come along and we are settled within ourselves. We're happy in our, in our rental. We're still here, loving it. Um, but also, let them come in the summer. Um, winter can be fantastic. It's really cold. And so, it's just somehow, I personally, I feel like you don't see the full beauty of Canada, except snow is really gorgeous. But summer really allows you to do a lot more stuff. So, my parents have come out in the summer, and we decided, this is what we're going to do. We're going to rent a cottage for a week in the Muskokas, which we did. And my parents were absolutely blown away. We beach people, we surfers, we've grown up on the beach since we were this high. But you know, to experience living on a lake, swimming in a lake, paddle boarding on the lake, kayaking on a lake, possibly seeing moose and bear. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And it's log cabins, find something. Go, there's this website called um, Vacation Rentals Muskoka, I think it is, dot com. Um, you can inbox me uh, if you want the details. Um, we found an awesome, awesome place. You'll see it actually on my Facebook page. I posted some pictures recently. Um, it's amazing. You can find stuff on Airbnb uh, for next to nothing. Take your family. Go. 
my parents were just blown away and it's just absolutely beautiful and a true Canadian thing to do if your parents are coming out. So I highly recommend that. Um, and then we decided, we, you know what, my parents are all the way, they live in Cape Town, they would never go to the Caribbean. We're going to spend some cash and we're going to go to Jamaica. And anyway, we head off for 10 days to Jamaica. Amazing experience, stooped in culture, uh, yaman, lots of rum, lots of jerk chicken, a total different vibe and experience. It was an amazing trip and oh, I, w I just can't, I would love to go back to Jamaica. So bringing your parents validates the decision you've made to come to Canada. They see how you do life in Canada, that it's safe, that your kids have massive opportunity. Um, one thing my parents said, look at these bus shelters. They are so clean and they're not broken and they aren't full of rubbish and dirt. So Kevin, my husband, says to them, yes, and in winter, a lot of them are heated. I mean, my dad nearly fell over. He's like, are you kidding me? And the other day, I saw a truck parked at one of the bus shelters, cleaning it with a squeegee. I was like, okay, that's where my taxes are going. This is now really next level. So there are amazing things that you see through the eyes of your parents or your family that come to visit that make you fall in love with Canada all over again. Um, we went to downtown Toronto a lot because we love it there. My mom just in awe of all the baskets of flowers all the way along King Street West and all over downtown. It's absolutely beautiful. Who waters all these plants and when do they do it, she asks. Um, it's really beautiful. And so for them and for us, it was just really quite a treat. And uh, so I really recommend that when you can and when you settle, get your family over and get them over in the summer. In my uh, yoga training the other day, we were talking about purpose and fulfillment and Diana used this term what you resist persists and um, it's very true um, I think I'm now at the point in my yoga journey where I will be qualified as a yoga teacher in October so I've come quite a long way since I last gave an update and I'm really excited yoga's changed my body it's changed my mind it's changed the way I do life I absolutely love it and I can't wait for the next chapter I'm visiting a couple of uh, yoga studios in my area to see perhaps that's where I can teach. Um, I have a passion to teach teenagers because I think I love the pumping awesome music and maybe I'm going to do something different with yoga and bring a different vibe to my community but I'm really excited about that. But in terms of what, what, um, what we resist persists, what I've learned in Canada is that being so chilled and relaxed here and not having the uh, the brain power going to is my house locked are the beams on is every gonna everybody gonna be okay so George is driving now my eldest daughter she's got the car she's out until whatever the other night till midnight is she safe you know I don't have to worry about that stuff because they're okay and so what it's done is it's freed up a lot of time for me to think about things think about the traumas that I've been through which I've mentioned before you know just been held up at gunpoint um, going through um, a crazy divorce uh, you know, just going through a lot of stuff. And so going through all of that, you don't have time to think about it when you're in South Africa. Now that I'm in Canada, it's two and a half years later. I've been able to think through all this stuff and not be attached to it. And so by resisting uh, working through the stuff, it will persist and it will continually come up in your life. And so I've had to deal with the stuff, which I have. It's been an amazing journey to do. And I think I've it's been amazing because I've been able to do this alongside my yoga journey. Um, and my suggestion for you is just be aware that when you come to Canada, it's very different. And you might have to go through things that you haven't thought about before. You'll start dealing with a lot of you have come over and you've all experienced stuff, trauma, whatever it is, friends and family. And so it really gives you time to find out who you are. And uh, some of you, I'm sure, know who you are. I mean, hello. Uh, but you know, I'm 40, turning 44 this year, and for me, it's an amazing gift to live in Canada, to find out who I am, to find my purpose and feel fulfilled. I feel amazing. I'm so amped at the moment, like it's still in the bit of summer. I can't wait for winter, sort of, <laughs> but um, I'm ready for the next phase. And I think for you, if you're coming here, one of your partners has a job, or you both don't have jobs or whatever, it will come. And it's hard because you can't see the end in mind, but it's going to happen. And all I can say is from my experience, two and a half years down the line, my kids have grown, they're driving, they absolutely love school. They could never think of going back to South Africa. 
um, just because of where they're at. They have the opportunity. They're super positive. Uh, Georgia's, we're going on all the university tours next week to see where she wants to study. Amazing. And so all I can say to you is just be aware that you might hit a bit of a low. Then you're going to hit a high. They're going to be seasons. But just be aware of it. But just know that in the end, it's totally worth it. If you have managed to get all the paperwork together and save all this little spring bucky bucks to get all the way to Canada, all those applications, IE, LTS, all these different things that you need, it's crazy, I know. If you can do all of that and immigrate, you can do anything, my friend. Trust me, in Canada, there's so much opportunity. Your ambitions, the, the South Africans here do so well because we've got this energy, we've got this vibe, and you know what it is, right? We are full of gratitude. You get to Canada and you see how beautiful it is here and you can just do anything you want to do. I never thought in my life that I would be doing my yoga teacher training certification. Never. I come from a sales background in construction. This is what I'm doing. It's changed my life. I feel great. You can do this thing. So suck it up. Finish that paperwork and get yourself over to Canada. We can't wait to meet you. We're waiting here. Uh, I believe the stats now are 12 thousand people moved to Canada last year, South Africans, and within the next three years there'll be 50,000. And it was based on language and hard work and all races. And that's fantastic for South Africans. So if you're keen to come over, start your applications, but really you're going to have to fuss bait and we'll see you when you're here.